Now let's talk transaction FB50, which is a finance transaction that allows you to create a GL account document. But when I do that, I get an error message that the posting period is not open. So let's report this as an error to the service desk. Um, I can click on the error message and continue from there. I can double click on the SAP logo to trigger the process. If you have custom menu items here, then uh, I can press that. Or I can choose the help menu and press create support message. So this will depend on the settings of the uh, add-on. The first thing that happens is it um, asks for a confirmation to take a screenshot. I will allow this because this is not a sensitive HR or finance transaction. And then the main screen appears where I can enter subject. I cannot pass a document. I can enter a long description. And here at the bottom part of the screen, I have a service now related, incident related fields. By default, we have the impact, urgency, severity, and the assignment group. But of course, you can customize this. You can remove fields that you don't want, and you uh, can add extra fields. We also have the assignment group, and that's automatically populated uh, with the uh, uh, SAP Finance group because we're submitting a ticket from the ins uh, a finance transaction. I've pressed uh, the send button, which creates the ticket in uh, service now and uploads certain attachments. And because I take this checkbox, it will also open it in a browser window. So you can see it's uh, opened. Uh, this is the customer facing view. So by default, the program opens the service portal. Um, you can see that we have a lot of attachments, extra information, but let's log into the system with another user and take a look at all the ticket details. So first of all, the caller is set to the SAP user. We have category software, subcategory SAP, and a new contact type, which is sent from SAP. We have the business service and the configuration item populated based on the uh, SAP system. We have the drop-down values and uh, a short and long description as the user has populated the SAP screen. The incident ended up automatically in the SAP Finance uh, assignment group. Uh, so basically the categorization and routing is automatically done. Let's check the attachments. Obviously we have the screenshot. So there you go. We have an authorization report. I will show that in another video. We have the contents of the screen scraped uh, and put into an Excel file along with the uh, technical information. So in this column you can see the values that were on the screen, but the program automatically adds all the technical information. So for instance, the service desk guys will know that in this SAP program, this screen, this field, which was the document date, the value was uh, today's date. So end users don't have to type that much. And they don't have a chance to make typing mistakes. You will always get the business context of the problem. And we also generate a PDF file uh, which contains a header with the uh, affected user and system information, whatever the user has entered, and then all the important information uh, regarding the currently running program. So what was the transaction code, title, program name, screen number, subscreen number, application component, and so on. All the details of the error messages put here, message number, class, type, even the complete long text is uh, entered here. We have a call stack, which is now empty because we were on the first screen of the transaction. We have uh, SAP GUI information. It was a GUI for Windows with this current specific version from this client computer and so on. You have all the details of the SAP user that you need to get in touch. You have salutation, language key, time zone, and so on. And of course, everything about the SAP system, type, database information, operating system, version numbers, and so on. And the last section contains the complete list of SAP backend uh, components with the release and service pack level information. So basically, you get a full information package for every incident that is created through our tool. And that really helps the service desk to um, react faster. Uh, immediately reproduce the problem and, and look for a solution. If you install our scope service now application, then you will have a, an SAP technical details tab here as well. So for each incident, we create a record in this service now table 
and basically you find the same information that you've seen in the PDF file, like the program details, server information, user information. Uh, here you have all the SAP screen fields, components, and so on.